What's up, moviegoers? Welcome to the Markio Podcast. I'm your host, Anthony. In today's episode, I'm talking about Leprechaun 6, Back to the Hood, or Leprechaun, Back to the Hood. Now, the title, Back to the Hood, has back, the number two, and T-H-A, the hood. So, uh, I had to, you know, explain that because it's very different. You could say this is a sequel to the previous movie, Leprechaun in the Hood. And I feel like it is, uh, because uh, in a way, like, the character Leprechaun has unfinished business in a way. But basically, this sixth entry finds the Leprechaun, you know, uh, rampaging through an urban area and killing anyone who gets in his way because his pot of gold was stolen. And young and a group of people can, you know, fulfill their wildest dreams without knowing that Leprechaun is hunting them and killing them. This was a direct-to-video release in December of 2003. It's only 90 minutes long. It's a quick watch. Warwick Davis does return as the role of the Leprechaun. And it is the last movie in the series to feature Warwick Davis as the Leprechaun. So basically they made six movies. Two of which were theatrical releases, which were Leprechaun 1 and Leprechaun 2. And Leprechaun 3 through 6 were direct-to-video releases. With number 3 being the most successful one of 1995 and probably of all the entire franchise. Uh, This movie is more so a comedy and definitely laid back in tone. The tone is there. It's very straightforward. It's very powerful. And just seeing Leprechaun once again, you know, uh, fight his way through the urban areas is hilarious. It's funny. And once again, he tries to fit in. And like I said in the previous Mark your podcast episodes, I feel like this Leprechaun is very different than each one in each movie because you get to see the Leprechaun changing his ways. Uh, the clothes are different. Some of the mannerisms are different. And the humor that was there from the first movie up until maybe I want to say the middle half of the fourth movie was there. But once the fourth movie ended and five and six came along, this more so wasn't a comical leprechaun anymore he was more so serious about getting what he wanted and wanted it back really quickly there are a lot of puns in this and warwick davis made this role his own and with warwick davis making this role his own he brought a different dynamic in each each movie and it shows you can tell he was having fun with part three because that's just him he said it's his best movie that he's done in the series and then once you see part four you can see that he wasn't having too much fun and five was interesting more so of a dramatic role and six was definitely a more of a dramatic role for the leprechaun i feel like like i said at the beginning i feel like this sixth entry is a direct sequel to the fifth one because it has leprechaun back to the hood so it's a play on words um you know uh it's it's different and the tagline to this is evil has a whole new rap so you know you could say that it's a play on words and anything like that but other than that, this movie didn't do what it wanted to do. It felt like like if you just made only three Leprechaun movies, which you should have done, that would have been fine. But making four, five, and six was not the answer. It wasn't fun to watch. It wasn't interesting. It wasn't that good. And this movie was, like I said, a direct-to-video, direct-to-DVD release. And more so or not, um, I barely see this on TV. If it's on, it's on the Sci-Fi channel along with the other movies in the series, but more so that this one is really, really hard to find unless you have the DVD or the VHS tape that was released when it was released back in December of 2003. I didn't like the story, and I didn't like how everything played out. Um, It did leave it open-ended. You don't know what's going to happen. And with that, uh, that's why I didn't like it. It left it open-ended, and you're like trying to figure out what the hell just happened. Will there be another one? You know, and uh, when Warwick Davis, you know, decided not to come back as a leprechaun anymore because um, in an interview he stated that uh, he didn't want to do any more leprechaun movies because his children were growing up and getting older and he didn't want his kids to be subjugated to the films like these. And I understand that. It's Warwick Davis. He's a phenomenal actor. He's very underrated. And, you know, for him, this was a fun time for him to do things. You know, within the 10 years of leprechaun movies, you know, you release six movies between the 10 and 11 years, you release six movies, so it's it's interesting. And Warwick Davis is fun. I would love to see him come back in one more Leprechaun movie. And hopefully, uh, when he does come back, it's more of a straight horror movie. You know, nothing like a comedy or anything, but 
Warwick Davis made this role his own, and it shows in every movie that it's in. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about Leprechaun 6, Back to the Hood, or Leprechaun Back to the Hood. If you saw it, you know, and uh, will you be checking it out now that I've talked about it? And do you think it's the weakest entry in the franchise of Leprechaun movies? And were you sad to find out that Warwick Davis' last role was in this movie as the Leprechaun? Because I think, you know, he should have got a better outing as the tutorial character that he's played for 10 years in six movies. You know, one more movie would have been great to see Warwick Davis in just to give him a good send-off as the Leprechaun character. Now be sure you tune into the next episode of the Markio Podcast where I talk about Leprechaun Origins. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new videos and new podcast episodes on the Markio Productions YouTube page. And follow Markio Productions on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And follow me, Anthony, your host on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Filmstock. And follow the Markio Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave a link to all the social media accounts in the description box below. You can check it out and follow along. All right, everyone, that does it for today's episode. I'm your host, Anthony. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the smoke.